Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics of Robert Sylvester Kelly and what is going on in the federal Chicago trial and the federal Brooklyn appeal. So today is the weekend. It's August the 27th, and there's nothing really to report. You know, I did all my ba major updating reporting to you guys from what went on last week in trial. But there was something that someone sent me in an email, and it was a link to a transcript reading. So I really don't go to the transcript readings because I actually have the transcript. So I like to go to the very end to see if they sum it up. So I, I you know, went to the video and then I paused it, moved it forward, and I ran into a very unique conversation and I want to get your point of view about it. If anyone knows Atmos Love, if anyone knows Levi for Kelly, I want you to somewhat listen to what I ran into. And it was something that I was supposed to give a suggestion about how I felt about it. So I'm going to play it. This is Creative Common. Um, use so I'm able to play it and I want to get your point of view about it so I'm going to be stopping and starting and you know saying what I need to say in order to get your uh, opinions and then we'll check on this tomorrow I'm going to put it up today and tomorrow 6 p.m. we're going to read over the content okay so let's go here we are the 90s, you know what I'm exactly. saying? So, I mean, have been doing in order to get exactly. Enough that exactly. Exactly. He, he came to Lisa Allen, had Lisa Van Allen house. She put her hands up immediately. Right. Immediately. Yeah. They, they know this nigga. He, they know who he is. Okay. <laughs> he came yeah, through, but, he came oh, yeah. through like Larry, Omar Larry, in a while. Larry was trying to say something. Go ahead, bro. Larry, go ahead. I think that might have been me. Are you on mute? No, on mute. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. see her. Okay, so right now this is the conversation that they're having, I guess, in the in the backdrop of listening to the um, the transcripts, and they're just giving their points of view about it. So it's really active. It's it's a fun time right now. So let's keep listening. You see how they trying to paint everybody out to be a criminal, though? You know, mm. and you know, they culture vulture. You know, she a culture vulture. So she, you know, she out to free all the black men out of prison. But they get Charles, little Charles Freeman on here. They want to call him all kind of niggas and everything. Okay, so basically I think this gentleman is talking about Jennifer Bonjean. And I believe that... This is a collaboration or a group of individuals having a conversation about discrepancies. I don't believe they believe that R. Kelly is innocent. Um, I don't believe that they are supporters. However, I'm not sure. I'm not here to debate because I don't deal with debates, you know, but I'm just here to like kind of get a clear understanding of what other people feel about what's taking place in the courtroom. So let's finish listening. Let me see here. Mm. No, so I don't know. Y'all doing a good job. I'm keeping up with all of it all the way through. I just ain't <laughs> said nothing, you know. But y'all doing a good job, man, reading that shit. I'm, I like... Okay, I think he's messed up. Uh -uh. Huh? You cut out, bro. I thought that was one. Let me move up a little. Tape itself. Let me ask. Please allow me, me to you, ask. Me can, you I know you were going to I've never ever. Ah, oh, go ahead. Okay. I would, I would, I would answer your question fully if you would allow me to speak. Um, it is not right for any adult to have uh, sexual relationships with minors. That is not, not only is it morally wrong, it is legally wrong. However, with the question, the way you phrase your question, 
um, when I talked about him actually video uh, going up on stage at award shows with his video camera, and I talked about him videotaping myself uh, doing that prayer, let's not get it misconstrued, my words. If every adult was held up on charges for filming sexual acts, then a tenth of the country would be locked up. Okay. Now, so let's mm. let's not it let's let's the kid lock them no, we yeah. said with a child. Oh no 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 with a minor. Okay. That, I just answered that question that whether it's filmed or not, any individual, man or woman, who engages in sexual relationships, uh relations with a minor deserve to be locked up for the rest of their life, ma'am. But, but once again, when you say what, what you just said a minute ago, you're operating under the presumption that he's guilty. And that's fine because the majority of those who watch Lifetime would say he's guilty. I basing it off of that. Were you there? No, I'm basing it off of what they're showing, what they're showing, the proof that they're showing and the evidence. I'm basing it off of the transcripts. I'm basing it, that's what I'm basing it off of. They're showing proof in court. They did it in New York. They're doing it now in Chicago that he, it was him in the trial. The government of the United States is not going to come up there putting on evidence Ooh. that is not of him. That's not him. Video evidence? You think they, you think they're going to put somebody else on there? So yes. you think that he wasn't having sex? Let me ask you this. Forget the whole tapes. You don't think... Okay, let's stop there. So I think she's asking a question. You know, Levi, I guess, is for Robert Sylvester Kelly. That is his family. And he is, you know, attached to making sure that everything is done decency and in ordered way when it comes down to his case. So I want to say that this woman is more or less asking the question, do you believe that he is guilty? Um, I don't think it's fair to ask that question right now because no one knows. Guilt or innocence, in our own hearts, we hold our own belief. So no one really knows whether he is, say, innocent or guilty. You know, we have our beliefs. But now we're getting down to personal idea, you know, and that right there creates a lot of chaos because one side is trying to turn the other side to their side. And I think this is where the conflict of interest came in in this live. But let's keep listening. If your cousin was having sex with minors. Um, I've never seen the actual video tape itself. Let me ask, please allow do me you, to ask. Do you Can, know I know you were going to cut me off. Sweetheart, if we're gonna so have you going to around the world and back no, 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 I'm answers. not going. Listen, I'm not going. I well, listen. You know, may I, if may we're going to have a conversation, let's have a conversation. Hello, it, this is, go ahead. Can, go ahead. Uh, I'm I'm different from the person you were speaking to just now, but I mean, at the end of the day, if you're going to come here and just say that you don't believe any of the allegations and everything. At the end of the day, that's your right. Uh, you're not going to convince us any differently mm -hmm. than we're going to convince you. And I mean, you can say what you. I mean, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But, but, but check this out, though. Mm -hmm. well, I so, yeah, he can say whatever he wants to say and, you know, just allow. And this is what I do on my show. I get a headache. <laughs> I'm going to get a headache when I'm constantly going back and forth, back and forth, even in a real life conversation that makes me very anxiety prone, anxiety driven. So when I was given this, and they gave me this clip at this segment time, it was time stamped. So me, myself personally, I was just listening and I was like, wow, you know, and they wanted me to give my point of view of what I felt. So what I'm feeling right now is a, a very high anxiety level. So that's what I'm feeling. And it's like, I do get it. Um, so let's, let's keep listening. I don't know. Whether I convince you all or don't, am I, am I yeah. unable to, I, first of all, I don't try to convince anyone of anything. And Admiss will tell you this. I've never, ever called those young ladies liars on my channel. Okay. I am someone having experience in law who believes in following the law to the letter of the law. I, I am someone 
who she asked the young lady asked me a question and I want to answer it the right way. I want to answer it truthfully. She asked me, do you believe that your cousin has had sex with minors? I would answer that question like this. I don't believe nothing I don't see with my own eyes. See, listen, seeing is believing. Now, so you want to see the tape? Let's say that. No, no, ma'am. What I'm saying to you is that the, the tape was... So now I think this person who just interjected was someone who more or less is against Robert. And he or she, I don't know, that voice is very raspy. That person is getting kind of like offended, I think. Um, that's how I would take it, that they're getting offended. And to suggest to just watch the tape is something that should not have been suggested. You know, I don't think he was trying to say he was a pedophile and wanted to see the tape because the tape was out. The tape has always been out since 2008. If he really and truly wanted to watch the tape, he would have watched it. So for them to say that was very kind of not too cool. I wouldn't have allowed, I wouldn't have accepted that as something that was just a conversation, a blatant conversation that was just, you know, normal. I wouldn't have accepted that as normal, but let's keep going. Was not able to be authenticated in 2008. See, I don't listen. See, this is the problem, bro. The problem is that people, you, you all are having, you all are having emotional conversations. No, you know? family members know one another. So now. The Levi guy is saying, is judging people. And that's something that is going to elevate the conversation, make it creatively chaotic. And so now someone's going to have to jump in. But I think it happened with that guy or person with the raspy voice that more or less said, you know, do you want to see the tape? Is that what it is? That shouldn't have been stated. I mean, they should have just allowed him to talk. That's that's my theory. They should have allowed him to talk. Other family members are molesting people. What are you? Uh, you have other family members that have spoken out on that. His brothers have both spoken out on that about you guys as family members. Those that have been are not, people. Listen, for one, they're not my family members. See, this is you, 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 they're not my family members. Now I'm going to say it very simply that I don't believe. See, this is the problem. In if the his court. dad is his granddad and you can't talk to his daddy, wouldn't it be your fault? And this is why he's going. This is why he's going to be exonerated because. So there's judgment going on. There's double talk going on. Other people over talking other people and not allowing this Levi guy to get his point across, even though it does take him a little time to get his point across. I get that, but respect was the ultimate key to this communication that wasn't granted at this time. Everything that you're saying is conjecture, rumor, innuendo, is slander. It is what YouTube has presented. I'm trying to explain this to you guys. YouTube, okay. listen, hey, listen to can me. I, can I interject, please? Because I'm going to be out. There goes another interjection. So he's. it's hard for him to get his thoughts out, but also staying on focus, too because they're throwing their their push in into the conversation. So that's making it very difficult for Levi to follow his conversation. Okay, listen, I right, look, okay, I got one question. Like, look, okay, I, hey, I don't know you, love that nigga music though, but I'm gonna say this, if he's in the videos and they have the evidence, what is it to fucking debate, bro? If your cuz is a freak ass nigga, then he a freak ass nigga. Let it go, my nigga. Listen, Thank hey. You. Now they're getting, now he's judging Levi for number one, being a family member of Kelly's as well as, I guess, supporting Kelly. And so he's trying to, you know, he's listening to what is going on in the courtroom. And he's listening to what has been said in the docu-series. 
He's also listening to, I guess, his opinion. So now it's like, wow. So now we have confusion. Now we have chaos. And this is severe chaos because you can tell it's getting more and more aggravating as they speak. Everybody got a freak ass nigga in their family. Why are you taking up for a freak ass nigga? I still like some of his shit, but he a freak ass nigga. And he need to be stoned because if you fuck with my daughter, I'll fuck him up, bro. Because birds of a feather flock together. Flock together, my nigga. And if you guilty. Now, now, birds of a feather flocking together. I have no idea how that relates to anything that he's just said. Um, I don't know if he's talking specifically about Levi or if he's talking about any supporter, but I felt a little bit more anxiety prone at this point listening to the conversation because of the fact I am a supporter of Robert Sylvester Kelly. I feel that until I hear it come from him and his mouth or until a jury of his peers in this situation, I think I don't really have anything to say about the racketeering and the obstruction in Brooklyn, but as of right here right now, I am only following what is being done in the courtroom. That's it. Because everybody has an opinion. This is a public opinion case. And everyone has an opinion. So to get mad at someone for being a supporter makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. Guilty by association. Bro, you had a whole time to speak, bro. Let me please say my No, piece. I haven't had hey. none, no time to speak, but go ahead well, and say what you need to say. Okay. I mean, look, at the end of I'll the day, bro. I so now he, Levi is being respectful, but it's very difficult for him to follow his conversation because of the interruptions. And I, I get it because I am an interrupter too, because I need to get my point out first. So, you know, I can say what I need to say. And then in the midst of getting the point out, now I need to, you know, re, re, rebuttal what you have to say about it. If it's not what I want to hear. That, bro, look, you can't, like, it's like, okay, this is R. Kelly, nigga. I've been listening to him since forever. Everybody has. But is this nigga that important for him to get CG'd into all these thousands of tapes and phones? He's not, my nigga. He's great, but he's not God. He's not the last nigga to write a hot song to do. So I think what he's saying right there is that it's difficult for him to understand that Robert could have been photoshopped into a video for some type of conspiracy. He just doesn't see it that way. I think this gentleman really and truly wants us to know how strongly he feels about the fact that, yes, this information that was put out here couldn't have been photoshopped. He, Robert is not all that, is what he's more or less saying. And yeah, so he just can't see it as being someone else in the tape he just can't see it so we understand that we get it okay let me see here ah uh, let me see And the tape, wasn't, the tape don't need to be authenticated if he out here paying millions and millions of dollars, millions dollars to, to get, get them back. back. You don't need to spend no money on something that you ain't in. That you don't know that it is. That if I, if I know that I'm not going to be in this, why the fuck I'm going to pay somebody that's going to get this shit? Why? May why? I why? May I respond, May I respond, brother? T please, my brother, please. Thank you very much. Listen, listen to me, y'all. <sighs> The brother that just spoke, that is the sentiment of most people. I'm not offended by what you said. However, what I'm trying to get you to understand is that what's going on in that courtroom that Atmos has been reading for the last six, seven, eight days, what's going on in this court, what you are displaying, brother, is not going on in the courtroom. And that is emotions. That is 
you know, the nigga this and the nigga, he, the, the, all that, that's fine, bro. I get it. I'm, I, listen, bro, I'm from the hood. I understand how we talk. I understand how we express ourselves. However, at the same time, uh, dear brother, if you would just lend your ear to me for a minute. If you had a loved one that you loved in ICU in a hospital, if you love that person, the only thing that's going to matter to you is what is technical. In other words, you're going to ask the doctor, what is his blood pressure? How is, how is he or she doing? Everything is going to be relying upon technicality, brother. Techni so he's basically letting them know that even though everything right now is very high strung, he has a voice and opinion. Levi has a voice and opinion. Admus is allowing people to have a voice and opinion on his show. So in the, in the end, when you go into the courtroom, it is, it is technicality. It is formal. It is, you know, professional. So yeah, I get what he's saying there. I, I, I do. I, I get what he's saying. Um, and yeah, it would be hard for a person who is on an emotional side um, especially feeling the way that they feel about Robert to take it offensive or a different way. I so get it. What's your thoughts? Technicalities. That's all it's about. At the end of the day, it's no offense to you, but our people, black people, we are just the kind of people that we are more emotional than technical. I have been technical. And that is true. We as in our culture, we, we do run everything off of emotion. We've been taught to be that way. We're very traumatically driven. So, yeah, I agree with him. So, okay. Throughout this whole process, you don't have to uh, attack my cousin or you don't have to. That's fine. Your emotions, I get it. That's fine. But guess what? Right now, he is in the proper venue, the proper setting that if, in fact, if what you guys are saying is true and he's guilty, then he's in the proper form. He's going to be. So basically, Levi is saying, listen, I'm not here to judge. You shouldn't be judging. We just got to sit back and wait and see what takes place, what transpires through these testimonies. And so far, there hasn't been anything really evidentiary to me, but I'm looking at it from a different perspective perspective i'm not looking at it overall just like a social worker would look at it differently as well i myself feel that you know everyone has an, a, a voice of an opinion this is a public opinion case and but public opinion will be thrown out the window when the final judgment comes down and it's not about judging him because again this person i believe is angry that he was acquitted the first time because he possibly could get acquitted a second time. And that's something that that person is going to have to live with too, with the fact that he is so angry. Deemed guilty. I don't, I don't, it's very hard for people to speak with me because I don't get caught up in the emotional stuff. I'm not one of those other bloggers, bro. I only deal with what that. Right now I see Levi getting buying into the hype he's getting aggressive he's getting you know combative because he's emotional right now he's emotionally driven this is his family there that he's talking about i think i'm not sure 100 percent. i don't know i've never talked to levi in person at miss or whoever else their raspy voice person i haven't talked to anybody personally but i do feel that I feel the energy of Levi getting more and more aggressive. What What are your thoughts? That which is technical. That's all I deal with. Forget technical. I'm talking you. about I'm truth. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Can hold on, wait a minute. Can I reply? Can I, I reply just, real quick? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As As you see, I said nothing. I allowed you to speak. Now Thank let you. me. Now allow me to retort. The thing of it is, my brother, this is not about emotions at all. It's about facts. It's facts, my brother. If, if I, if I, so he's getting kind of, you know, thrown out there. Okay, hear you. You know, gum drops. 
I got gum, I got gum drops and everything. I rob a candy store, and as the trail I go from the candy store to my house, I leave a trail of candy. I, I drop some candy that mean more to me than the other candy. I pay somebody to go find that candy. But that's still my candy. You don't think I'm a, I am should be considered a candy thief? I don't think you should be considered anything until a jury of your peers, until you have put, been well, put through the process. Uh, well, I mean, uh, again, okay, that all right. I, I understand. You, so this is... Which is how, oh, which, this is the difference between technicality and just theory. So he's saying the raspy guy voice, the raspy voice guy is saying theory, but Levi is saying, no, you know, technicality is what if someone else had robbed the candy store before you and dropped theirs and they incorporated it into yours, kind of like that. So we have all different types of views. Which is and already we're happening. Now. And, and I would give you, I would give you still that you know there, there's going to be an appeal, but Jim, okay, that's fine, and that's fine, and that's fine, and that's fine. But even still with that, but even with still with that, come on, bro. If he's in, if they got all this evidence, thousands and thousands and thousands and this and this and that with him in it, bro. You, you, you can't, I, I can't, this, this don't got nothing to do with film. I don't think they have thousands and thousands and thousands of videos with him in the video with minors. I don't believe that. Um, so I believe that that is a, 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 a exaggeration of information. And so now he's still trying to prove his point. And that's why I think the raspy guys, the ra raspy voice guy has to prove himself to be right in this situation. He has to in order to make himself look as though he is right. <laughs> this is just the ego. This is an ego conversation. And Atmos is just allowing it to go on. And people are getting really frustrated. It's getting, it's reached a number seven, six from number two about five minutes ago. Feelings. It's about facts. You know, what, 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 what can be proved and cannot be proved. It's being proved. It's him in it. He's not that important to get CG'd into some shit, bro. And I love that nigga music. You feel me? And I mean this with all due respect. Who's going to do that if he left bread clues to his bullshit? Own up to it and just like, hey, that's my cuz. He fucked up. Hey, they caught him. Them, they caught him slipping. It's it's a whole. I believe everybody wants this whole thing to be over, and those who are on the left side of it is saying, just say it, just say it. I want to hear you say it. You're guilty. Let's just hear. And then those who are on the right side is saying, well, he may not be. This may just be something that could have been, you know, sabotaged for his future, you know, so, wow. It's a, that's a, that's a broader, a broader thing still, but you know what I mean? Just like, it's not about feelings, bro. It's, it's about, about what it, it's reality, man. I've been trying to ask a question. So, uh, again, I don't, I don't know you and I, I'm not interested in having a charge conversation cause we're all going to have our different opinions. Right. But I, um, you said that you, you said that you are a lawyer. You have history in law. Is that what you said? I'm, I'm far from I'm far from a lawyer, but I've okay. I've, I've, I've worked in law. Okay, I would because I was just going to say, well, if you did work in law, I would then ask why maybe you weren't more engaged with your cousin when all this was happening, to you know support him better, give him better guidance because obviously whether you know. Again, whether you feel he did anything or not, obviously he made several missteps that are putting him in some serious crosshairs, right? Yep, yep. So this this lady who shows up is saying, I just want to make sense of all of this, you know, because I, I don't think Levi ever said that he was like a lawyer, but seeing people misunderstand things when they are dealing with emotion. So this was a very emotional situation that everyone's in right now. Yes, ma'am, if, if I may respond. Mm -hmm. If you uh, worked in medicine, this, let's just say you worked with doctors, 
do you follow your cousins around talking about you shouldn't be eating that sugar and you should like, come on like you cannot you can't monitor um, something I don't you, think I so basically he's saying Robert was a grown man and even if he was an attorney even if he was somebody who had legal you know opportunities behind his name nine times out of ten no one would listen to him anyway <laughs> it's what he's saying he's a grown man he could do what he want to do I think that's a false equivalency Shut sir up. I don't think I don't think I'm sorry Shay I don't think that it's you're saying that you know you're not gonna be engaged when you're hearing all over the news that your cousin is facing you know 20 30 years in jail I mean, that's a false equivalency sir I don't appreciate that that metaphor that analogy it was, okay let me let me reflect now, he, now, 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 let your doc now she doesn't appreciate his point of view that's what she just said I don't appreciate your analogy so not appreciating someone's analogy is more or less saying, I'm not buying into what you're saying. But yet, you know, she just asked a question that she was not willing to accept the answer to. Hang around with him and spend let, the night with him. Well, my, he's been around my daughter, but let me explain this to you. Spending let, the let, night? Ma'am, listen, my daughter don't spend the night with no Because you're talking about all these technical things and you're his family, then let's talk about the family issue that's going on. And I'm sorry, he still hasn't responded to me. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Okay, I want to go. So he has a whole gang ganging up on him about his beliefs, about his support, about his family member. And they already feel very, very angry. You know, they have their point. They have their point. So... On both ends, I can see this, but me, myself, personally, I would have bowed out a long time ago because this is too much energy to waste. Back to the brother, I want to go back to the sister. First of all, let me say this. As it pertains to when you were referring to my experience in law, mm -hmm. and you said that when these allegations started to stir and when he was facing his time in prison, you would think that... I would have uh, used my expertise to address it or approach it from that perspective. Anyone that's listening to this, including my detractors, including those who hate me with a passion, even including those who have threatened my life, none of them can say that I did not, did not, I have not done everything within my power legally to address what's going on with my cousin. Listen to me, ma'am. I'm not a YouTube blogger. I've come off of YouTube for five, six months because I... Okay, so now he's explaining himself to her. I don't know why he would. I don't know why he would, but he's explaining himself to her. Um, maybe it might be to kind of clear the air, kind of balance the fulcrum in this conversation, but it's getting even more heated right now. I've been doing paperwork corresponding with him and making sure that what I can do within my power, that he was at least legally uh, uh, equipped to deal with a lot of things. So to answer your question, everybody on YouTube know that I sat for five and a half months and I've drafted documents that are right now a legal safety net for him. So that's the answer to that question. Now, to the brother who was speaking about the dropping candy and things of that sort, I have a whole nother question, my brother. I know you and this that. is from the chat. The chat. So now they listen to what he has to say and then they break it apart. They totally break it apart. So as he was saying, I'm helping my cousin. There's a lot of things that if people are in the courtroom with Robert, there's a lot of things that they cannot say. They're, they're held in contempt as well. Whether they're outside of the courtroom or inside of the courtroom with documentation that they're sharing with us here. That's why I chose not to go. I could have took a month and went to Chicago, stayed in a hotel and did my point and did, did my part and due diligence by, you know, being there to be supportive. But I would have had a lot more engagement, a whole lot more. And would it have been worth it? Because I'm not gonna be able to see things from this side because I would be too close into it. So what are your views so far? I, I 
to know why would you pay with so much money, bro? To get pay for some pay, why would you pay so much for some tapes if you ain't in the tapes doing some real, real strange ass shit? Mm. Um, if it I don't like pertain to... to you, why would you? You okay, don't even gotta answer brother. my other question. You can bro, answer that. Why, why can't I ask it, brother? Listen, I'm trying. Let's be civil. That is civil, brother. Okay, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. I, I, listen, bro, I would never disrespect you. If it came How to did the he point, get disrespectful? No, I, I'm not saying you disrespected me. I'm trying to have a civilized conversation. My cousin well, okay. is facing. Listen, my cousin' life is on the line. So I'm not. I'm way past the emotions and going back and forth with people now. As it pertains to the check, asking why would he pay money to try to retrieve tapes that were not uh, 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 legally damning to him. That's a question that, that, that should come out in court. And that's a question that only he can answer that. And mm, perfect. That was real good. Levi, that was so good because if you say the wrong thing, it could be held against Robert right now because this is live as they're recording it 19 hours ago. And it is August the 27th. This is Saturday. This is going on. Um, we left off at the 10th day of trial. And there's a lot of things that better be under, you know, scrutiny with what we speak. You know, these people are sitting there waiting on new information because that prosecution is falling all apart. And only that which comes out in court can uh, offer some kind of explanation to that, bro. Mm -hmm. You understand? But listen, here's the deal to the, to the brother. Bro, you cannot honestly say that out of the years, I'm going to ask you straight up, I don't know how old you are. 38. When, you're 38, perfect age. Yes, how, when was the first time you've heard in your life I don't care how old you were. Ramblings of R. Kelly sleeping with underage girls. Since my mind was telling me no. Which means and, what? And, and, and age wasn't but nothing but a number. Six, 18 and over, 16 and under. No, 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 no. So I, was, I, was, I, was, I was what? That was what? what? So now what they're doing is becoming more combative because he's not giving them what they want. He's not giving the ammunition to just say, you're right, I get it, I understand. So they had nothing to fall back on, but ego on both sides. What year was that? 38. I'm, uh, yeah, I was, what, that was like 92, probably like seven, eight, nine. Okay, you were seven, eight, nine. It was. Years old. I'm gonna tell you like that. I'm, it was coming on the box. It was coming on the box. I could, I just showed my age right oh, there. Oh wow! It was That's, on the box. It was uh, on the box. I was like, that was way back. Going to school in the morning. It was on the box. I'm from yeah, Chicago. It was okay. on the box. Them days. So it yeah. wasn't. It wasn't nothing that I did not. You know what I mean? Just like okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's say you were seven, eight, nine years old, and you heard. I was older than that. I was older than that, but okay, okay. that's fine. That's fine, bro. You said you heard, which we, we all did in the hood. That yeah. I'm quite sure you heard that he married Aaliyah, correct? Yeah. Okay. And you heard the ramblings of him sleeping with underage girls, correct? Yeah. Are you refuting that he married Aaliyah? Yeah. Right. Wow. So y'all want to get emotional. So I'm they just, to have a they just, you just, they just, just completely. You just said it though. You just said <laughs> I asked the man, listen, bro, I asked the man okay. outside of the, outside of the okay. Fox Theater. Okay. Nobody around, me and mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. You married a leader? The man looked at me and said that was, yeah, that was a publicity stunt. That's what he told me. He said, yeah, okay, so he said, yeah. And, and I've been said, he said, yeah, and then when it came out in the court papers, people, oh, he, bro, he told me that. He said it was a publicity Who would stuff. do some pedophile stuff like that? Well, that right. don't even sound right, 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 bro. So, Come on now. So now they're ganging up again. The gang is alive. The gang is working on Levi, and Levi is being as, you know, he's trying to keep his cool. He's trying. <laughs> He's doing way better than me because I would have been hung up. <laughs> What's your thoughts? That shit don't even sound right, man. Man, the only time you can defend a predator if you are a predator. Right. You guys, 
You guys, I mean, I mean now they're judging everyone. They want no one to believe that Robert Sylvester Kelly could be innocent. They don't want even supporters to believe that this is possible because I guess the ego is so strong within their whole perspectives until the facts, the facts, the right, the right. Well, there were facts in 2008 as well. Um, and I don't know. I'm just going to sit back and watch this go down um, because I wasn't there. And to be someone who demands that it be the way that we want it, mm, it doesn't sound uh, politically correct. You know, we just got to wait it out. Wait it out. Like that I shit just weird, the, man. I can't I do feel it. Like I feel like with the ranch, though, so I'm going to let y'all talk to him. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't know why there's like this back and forth. There is a lot of irrationality now because people can't get their way. Levi can't get his way. The raspy voice person can't get their way. The other person that, um, you know, is trying to be the mediator, she can't get her way. So, and Atmos is just watching it all go down. <laughs> In circular logic, I mean. He obviously, you know, is on the side of his cousin. It is what it is. Absolutely I have, not true. I, well, I'm I mean, on the side of what's right, sweetheart. Okay, so please don't call me sweetheart. We, we're I'm, not a I'm, like that. I, I'm, okay. That right there was another ploy to get her to have a form of control. Because right now, he's looked at as the person in power that they keep trying to knock down. So she's like, don't call me sweetheart, which truly, I mean, but it really wasn't even necessary because he don't know her, don't know how to get in touch with her or anything. But that's the ego playing, playing is at its greatest. So, so whatever, so, miss, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma ma you can call me miss, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. That is another ploy to distract what Levi was in the middle of saying. So he, he, he can't stay focused on any particular topic because all these people are coming at him. And I see that that's how they're doing Robert too. They really are. They really, really are. But the only thing is Robert can't say anything to defend himself. He's plea. He's, he's there just sitting, waiting for his time, praying that something could break through. Thank you, sir. So my question would be, like, if you stated that, you know, he just needs to be found guilty by a jury of his peers, and you, just for you personally, right, do you feel as though he's up right now for four trials, right? And if he's found guilty in every single one of those trials, do you, do you think you'll personally ever come to terms with that? Or do you think you'll still have some, you know... Some some hesitation. I'll I'll always come to terms with a fair judicial process. Mm -hmm. I'll always come to terms with uh, individuals in our society being taken off the streets, whether it's ten years, fifty years of life, who are a menace to our society or a threat to uh, men, women, or children in our society. I'll always mm -hmm. come to terms with that. Good. I'm not that kind of man. Listen to listen to me, uh, ma'am. We all right now on Admus show. Admus is a, a, a spiritual man. One thing for sure, even the brother who's 38 years old, in 40, 50 years from now, won't none of us. I don't mean to interrupt you, Levi, but thanks for joining. She just interrupted. So he's not able to again get his point across. By the time she's done with everything, he's going to forget the comment. <laughs> this is this is ego at its greatest. So let's see if he'll finish his thought. Let's just see. Bring me to the show. I'm going to mute and I'm away from my turn. Yeah. Now, technically, she didn't have to come on to say that. She could have just muted. That's what I would have done. I would not have interrupted a person's comment in order to tell them that I'm going to be moving. Because if they need me, I'm on mute. I can all, I can actually press that mute button and unmute myself at any given moment. Another ego energy that came through at that point. Yes, ma'am. See, to the 
to the young lady that just said that. I can tell you're very agitated. Oh. You've, you've said it. Oh. You're very agitated how I speak and explain. Listen to me. Because on YouTube, you guys are you. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought she, you are, I thought she was just muting herself. See, it's it's something to get more of an aggression so she can get the attention drawn back to her so that she can control the conversation. That's a conversation control mechanism. You know? Wow. Wow. YouTube now. So why are you trying to degrade you? Wait, Levi, are you speaking to me? It ain't even about how what he's how he's explaining this, about how he's defending it. Wait, wait, wow. I, oh. Levi, uh -huh. as, are you speaking to me that just joined the panel? No, I'm talking to the, so the lady that just... if she just joined, he's obviously not talking to her at all. See, it's, it's like so many different angles to this conversation. It's really ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that I can't believe I'm on here giving my suggestion about it. Because it's really... I could be downstairs knitting or something. <laughs> I hope my uh, listeners are actually, uh, my subscribers are actually listening to this with me. I hope you haven't lost me. Spoke out oh, when you okay. were speaking. Okay. I just want to oh, make sure. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go back on mute and, yes, and I'm going to come in when you get done. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. If so you she, notice how I She speak. said it again. She said it twice. Okay. She's on the mute, but when it comes to her, she wants to know, are you talking to me? So another distraction. So he's not being able to get anything out. Nothing. And you listen to Atmos, and you guys read the transcripts. When you're reading the transcripts, there's civility in the courtroom. A person can't just stand up and say, she lied. They have to say objection, Your Honor, and object, the, your, the judge will make a ruling. I try to speak the same way. I've spoken this way all my life. I believe in order. It sounds so, like you're speaking around a lot of shit, bro. Well, That's what it sounds like. Bro, bro, this this is, this I'm going to be honest with you. And now, here it comes again. So now let's move from two to seven to now. This is about nine and a half. And so it's getting more and more frustrating for me to even listen to at this point because I'm not understanding where everybody's point of view is. If I may, if I, if, if I may, if I may, if I may, listen, and that's, and if I'm, and that's, if I may interject, bro, you are going all the way around the motherfucking mulberry bush, bro. Thank you. Like, why, like, why, bro? Like, I don't, like, please, I get what, again, like that, if. The he wants him to just say, yeah, this is it. He wants to control the whole conversation. He's been doing it for the last, maybe, how long have we been on? 30 minutes? Mm-hmm. If you, where, where are you from again? Let me ask you again. Where are you from again, brother? Detroit. Okay. You from the Midwest, my nigga. I'm not hearing shit you saying, bro. You are right. talking all the way around the corner. I'm from Chicago, south side, from the low end to the hundreds, bro. Plugs out west, all the way out east. Bro, what you saying right now? It's falling on deaf ears. You well, saying a whole lot of ignorant ears. No, I'm no, not ignorant. I'm let me, let me no, I'm some way. No, no, no. Now, before we get into that, there was a split in the conversation. So he says it's falling on deaf ears. So basically, what he should have done was just fall out of the conversation. Because if it's falling on deaf ears, it's just beginning to continue to gridlock itself and create chaos. So at this point, it now has moved from number seven to ten and a half to eleven. You know, it just keeps going and going and going. And this is the stuff that Robert was probably around all day, every day. Now, to disrespect and continue to keep cursing to me personally, when you curse at me, you're putting a curse on yourself. Because technically, or either if you're cursing at me and I get angry enough, you're putting that curse on me. So I've always been taught that anyone who uses curse words to, you know, express themselves are too super emotional or don't have the terminology or the words to use. And I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying what I have been taught. Don't have the ability to use words to plug in to make that word make sense to where it's something other than a curse word. So that's just how I was taught. So 
excuse me if this is not, I'm not trying to get into any debate here. This is not what I'm doing this for. I was all asked to give a suggestion on a video like I always do, even on CBS, NBC, and all of that. So I'm just doing this for my subscribers. Here we go. Now we didn't took it to him saying ignorance. Ignorance is just not knowing. So now let's see, will they get angrier? Will they get more intense? Let's see. Now there's so many conversations going on right now. There is no order. There is no understanding. There is not even a, a line to be crossed to make it logical. It's just a waste of energy and time on Robert's name and his situation. Chaos. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Okay, admins came on. I think he is the commentator of this. I'm not sure if it's Levi's channel or his. I'm not sure. But um, I think it is Atmos's. But anyway, um, I'm towards the end of the video. Oh, God. He's like, okay, please. <laughs> Let's let's be mindful. <laughs> never is Levi. This blade. You know I always talk to you for real. You stay doing that. Stop talking in circles and be for real, bro. Yeah. Who, who the hell is on that tape? Who the hell so, is on that tape? I, can I and listen, you are, you already admitted to me a long time ago in your way way past on a bottle of honey that. <laughs> Your now, real quick, before I forget this, okay, before he admitted whatever she said he admitted, Levi is doing a lot of, you know, back and forth too, because Levi is just in the mix. He's in the mix. It's weird. Okay. Say it again. You okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's address that. You, know, you can't deny this. You already admitted on a bottle of honey in your kitchen that your cousin has moral issues in his moral issues in his way, way past. So basically, she's telling everything that they've shared. Trust no one. Not that what she's saying is wrong. It's just that, is this the, the appropriate time or is this the ego fighting itself? What's your point? Way, way past. So way, way past. Let's stop playing with it. Moral issues. Wait a minute. Right. Levi, don't come up here talking in circles. Skip, skip, cap, skip what you call that? Skip, skip into your loop. Because none of us is buying it. I get, where I get where y'all are coming from, but the reason we don't buy anyone to call somebody ignorant. No, we're not ignorant. We're just not up on your, we just up on your game. Mind you, this is what they always do. Please let me respond before you do. This is what they always do. Right now, my anxiety level is on 10. How many, who, what level of anxiety are you guys on right now? I mean, tr I'm trying to, to just deal with this with you guys, but I'm also like really, really not feeling this. I don't think I can keep going on. I really don't. Let's, let's, let's move it to see. Um, well, anybody who wants to go on and go any further with this whole situation. Who Lord, I'm gonna go a little bit more, but... I don't see how Atmos did it. He's a good one. Very patient man. I do tell you. Hmm. Let's see here. And then when we respond is a problem. Right. Always. But my question, and after this, I'm getting off, Levi, because I'm done with your ass. You already know me and you go back and forth. However, who is on that tape at the end of the damn d day with a fucking minor? I'm out. Go ahead, Levi. Mm -hmm. There go the ego. Now I'm out. 
<laughs> you bring your point across and we really don't know who's on the tape because technically the jury has not determined that. And I think it is, again, fast talk, move quick, get in, say what you want to say, make him look bad so that we at the, as they say, quote, the end of the day, will side with them. What's your thoughts? Thank you. Um, let me say, say a name. I don't know. That's the quickest answer instead of skipping the loo and all around the world. We I'm understand what you guys are saying. Know. What Levi is so doing. The person she's on the panel. A lot of minutes talk, please. This is my I first am, time being over you. I am the kind of person who allow people to display their ignorance. Ooh. Allow so you display a very yes. good job. Uh, 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 allow, allow, and, again, and again, ignorance is just not knowing. If you look up the terminology of ignorance, it's just not knowing. They don't know. They won't allow him to speak, so they'll never know because he's taking too long to converse because they want to hear specifically what they want. They just want it. Like addicts, I want you to say he was wrong. I want you to say that it was him. I want you to say so we can be right. Well, Please see, here, here we go. I want, I want everybody... There's a literal life on the line. Wow. One at a time. No, because ain't nobody no. even out here called him ignorant. Uh, he's uh, he uh, calling everybody we else ignorant. Now we're having a kindergarten fight. You took the yellow crayon, not the red one. I wanted the blue one, but you got the yellow one. Now I want that one too. It's like, so to me at this point, I'm back to basics. I'm back to this making no sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> I, what are they even arguing about? Like, really? Are they truly arguing about the term ignorant? Well, if you're not ignorant, I wouldn't even answer to it. Or I'd be done with the conversation. Period, point blank. And this is what I want my Kelly Nation supporters to understand. This is not going to happen or take place on this channel. Not even in the comment section. Not happening. I don't need that in order to get views because that's going to give me anxiety and possibly other people that follow. What's your thoughts? Okay. Let Deanna talk. She came on. She didn't get a chance to speak yet. Go ahead, Deanna. I really wanted Levi to address what um, the young lady just said, but I'm going to go back to the fact of, okay, you're saying Levi told you in the past that that was his cousin on the tape, is what you're alleging, right? Okay, well, let's sit up here and look at the fact that when these people make movies and, 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 and make all these uh uh, uh, you know, uh, music videos and things like this and here and this and that. They can make you look like anything. And you have to understand the type of money that R. Kelly had. Now, let me let me be clear about this. I'm not making no sides. I'm not picking, choosing, and refusing. I'm just trying <laughs> to be, you know, open and all of that. You have to understand what the type of money that R. Kelly had and with all these people running after him. Hell yeah, they can go and god dang, uh, make it look like it was him. But well, why would he pay for the tape, ma'am? Why would he be paying now, for the tape? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to interject real quick. Go Levi, ahead. Levi, you know I respect you. You might, you know that. Well, well we're not think. talking to Levi at this moment. These hold, are my thoughts. Hold, and you, hold up, Deanna. Okay, Deanna, hold all on. right, okay, okay. Levi, I want you to know that out of all the panels you've ever been on, this is probably one of the most intelligent panels you'll ever grace the presence of. Mm. May I respond? Mm. Sure. Okay. I came on your show tonight. I have been as articulate as I can. I have been very respectful. I have explained. If, if I may respond. I just got to say, this reminds me of that one video interview with R. Kelly and the Caucasian girl that was trying to get him to just admit, just admit, just admit. And he walked off because it's like, he's saying, I've been trying to be so nice. I bet you he about to hang up. He about to hang up. He about to be done. Watch. <laughs> if he's smart. 
I have explained myself and my position in the most articulate way. I want you to listen. I have answered every question in the most truthful, honest way possible. As I tried to engage with the brother from Chicago, and I, this is a, this is a, to be honest with you, it's a tactic that I use when I'm speaking to people. Because if, 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 bro, listen, I'll be quiet and listen to y'all if you'll listen to me. I'll I'm explain. You I'll let you see, bro. Just come on. I cannot, that's a tactic. Here we go again. He was right in the process of making a complete thought, and they all jumped in. <laughs> I swear, I think this is all a setup. This has to be for entertainment purposes. It has to be. Atmos, can, can, can I speak? Please do not interrupt him. Exactly. One at a time, y'all. One at a time. Now, as I presented my argument, I called the brother, brother. I said, yes, sir, brother. Now, it comes to a point where he says, well, first of all, yada, 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 you, you know, you, you, I can see through your bullshit. These are his words. He These didn't talk to you like bro, that. Yes. Pay, pay he to to you like that. The... yes, he's been talking like that the entire time. So again, distraction. See, people, see what chaos brings. And by the time, if you don't know how to organize it in your own thought process, you're going to be caught up in the mix. Now, did you see her say that he didn't come at this guy Levi like that? Yes, he absolutely did. He said that it was falling on deaf ears and that it was bull crap and that it wasn't, you know, um, yeah, he said that. Play the shit back. Play uh -oh. it back. Uh -oh. See, now, now, the real, now the real Levi is no, coming no, out. No, well, no, not the ooh, Levi. Oh, see how the ego does it? When you show out and you get, when they get what they want, they say, ooh, he's not as perfect as he thought he was. Ooh, I know that ego, man. So, ooh, man, this is amazing. This happens on YouTube. Now, so tense, no, 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 you were tense. Let's See, when I speak, I'm speaking your language. Now, listen, you know, allow me to no, speak. No, allow no, me to speak. I just have to say, now his streaming broadcast is acting up, but I put my broadcast out there, mine act up every single time. Ain't that strange? But, man, I'm telling you, I wish I could get broadcasting streaming like this i would actually have something to say to you guys we, we can play it back, back. i'll play brother. it back on here yeah, i'll yeah. play it back on here you oh. said to me that i can see through your bullshit your words are falling on deaf ears i said to you no my words are falling on ignorant fucking ears Ooh. Nigga, that's what the fuck I said, nigga. Okay, you know what's ignorant? Your cousin walking out the courtroom when he got away with it the first time doing the same dumb ass shit. Well, and that's you sound what like his dumb you ass talk? too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, a yeah. stupid well, ass well, nigga, and I feel you, nigga. sorry for you. Do something, nigga. You fuck just you, bitch. Why? You wanna go why in? Why the you doing this? Now that right there is called chaos. Nobody can be heard. Nobody's understanding. Nobody's respecting. And this is why black on black crime be happening. The main reason. Because now the emotion is hit from 2 to 5 to 7 to 9 to 10 and a half to 12 and 15. We already up there at 15, y'all. I wish I was live because I would ask you, do, would you like me to continue? But I'm going to continue because I want to talk about this to my Kelly Nation supporters. We'll never act like this on this channel. Never. So this you just told yourself, bro. Let's That's take, what you wow. want to do, nigga? Wow. 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 I'm even handed with this wow. motherfucker, nigga. Wow. I'm even I handed come at you like that, bro. Nigga. Hold on. You just told me like that, that bitch. You just came at me, bro. Fuck you, bitch. 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 Fuck you, bitch.
you letting grown folks do what grown folks do and I get it and I respect you for that um I know you probably don't know what to do <laughs> right right about now and Ty please oh she got off Ty say what you want to say in, in this particular instance I appreciated what Levi was saying at first and how he was coming but at a point it seems like he I think she was the one who said I don't no that was the other lady don't call me sweetie and I don't appreciate your point of view okay but she's a different one okay it's so much in my head I I don't know who's who he's using his for like conversation and articulate y'all want to be disrespectful you want to be dis hold on can I finish oh, I'm, not on, dis I'm not being disrespectful can I just now Levi is hit his max and so now he's taking it to where they understand because they couldn't understand the other way of speaking the respectful way um you know he wasn't the first one to curse levi wasn't not taking any sides or anything just following the conversation like he was asking this man to do he was asking atmos to go back and replay so that they could clarify some things but i don't know why he didn't go back and just you know pull that time stamp pull that time stamp and let's let's you know make it right let's make it right let's finish um, it seems like he using polite conversation and the fact that he can speak articulately to basically beat around the bush. We are asking specific questions and in articulate listen, nigga, y'all give me a second, give me a second. And listening to him, it becomes word salad. It's like he talks so much. It's almost like he likes to hear himself talk. And that's what happens when a person does not get what they want. So they've been talking this entire time. Everybody ganging up. As soon as he gets a concept, an idea, a uh, startup to his, you know, common, the make it make logistics to him, that's when they want to interfere and divert it. So you can't talk to a person like that with split conversation. You normal conversation is you ask a question and the person answers it once it's answered move on to the next question but he's unable levi in this conversation is truly unable to even answer a question because it's not the type of questions that's yes or no it's not because he like these are philosophical questions to listen to his own voice because after five minutes of listening to him talk i still heard nothing and that was the point that we're saying just a, a direct question is a direct he she wanted to hear what she wanted to hear so anything beyond that was nothing so even if he had a made a press conference statement that everybody in the world would have heard it wouldn't have been good enough for her because she wanted to hear specifically what she wanted to hear What's your thoughts? Question, he's already been convicted in New York. Do you agree with the convictions or not? Because he's being charged with the same case, uh, basically the same exact things in Chicago, and then it's gonna come to the same thing in Minnesota. Now let's let him answer that. Let's let, let's let Levi answer your question. I'm gonna take you off. Wait a minute. Time. Wait uh, a minute. I agree with that. Levi, that's all we're saying. And I am. And now by the time he gets to the question he gonna be them forget <laughs> team kills believe me believe I you can't come up here with all that long talking like just get to bro it. listen listen to me very closely how I speak I, I would have been gone again they're they're judging him right in front of the man's face that's abuse that's verbal abuse been speaking all my life if y'all the problem with y'all y'all used to niggas talking and about I, listen, no, 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 no 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 i'm talking about youtube don't, I, don't I, put me I, I said, there you go again he won't be able to get this content out he won't watch <laughs> I said YouTube. I love kills, the but problem, with, listen. Allow me to speak. The problem with YouTube <laughs> is that y'all used to niggas coming up here talking about I ain't got a lot of kick and I keep it real. This, that, and the third. So you're so accustomed to that that when a person comes and he speaks legal language and he speaks civilized, oh, 
take your legs like this. I understand. Listen, no, 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 no. Allow me to speak. Allow me to speak. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Allow me to. There we go again. Now I didn't forget what the whole question was again. My theory is this. You know, and I hope Atmos does not get mad at me for, you know, chopping and, you know, putting my point of view into his um, live. I think it's a good publicity for my R. Kelly Appeal TV uh, nation supporters to go over and see if, you know, that's something that they would like to interject or become part of. Um, listening to the transcripts because I think he reads them every day. So I I would hope that this won't be no beef between us because if it is, I'm just going to delete the comments and block. But I mean, I just want to get this out. Um, no disrespect, but I feel that, you know, I want to get my nation supporters to see what is going on and how I feel about this based on suggestions that my subscribers wants me to do. So I do want to continue to say that. No disrespect to anyone on the Atmos Love Zone at all or the Levi for Kelly Zone at all. I don't know either of you. Just allow me to finish. When she just said, when I was talking for 10, 15 minutes, she didn't understand me. But when I told old boy, fuck you, nigga, she understood that. See, no, that's I the didn't. problem. No, I you didn't. did. Well, I'm going to say it again. Okay, well, 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 no, no. Well, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. So either way, regardless of what, whether he talks eloquently or whether he talks straight gutter, hood with it, they're going to still distract him from the conversation he's trying to have. He's trying to get it out, but he just can't. I feel sorry for you, Levi. You should have left that conversation and went on your channel, I guess, and did what you needed to do to get your point across. Wow, so sad. Maybe, maybe you will understand this. Maybe you will understand me now. Fuck all y'all. Woo! Oh, that's not very nice. Oh. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Look. The ego like, uh -huh, we got him. We got him. Now, he wasn't able to get out to people for R. Kelly what he wanted them to know. And that's the whole, I think, gist of why people should not connect supporters with non-supporters because there's a difference. Well, no, the problem, the problem. So, Atmos, can I say something really quick? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, hold on, H2O didn't get a chance to speak at all. Oh, Go ahead, I'm sorry, you're so correct. Hey, good evening, everybody. I know that we all are very um, attached to this because we're going, we doing the work. We're yeah. reading the transcripts and whatnot, and I'm not taking up for. Yeah, I think these people already spent ten hours. Reading a transcript. I didn't even get to that. I, I just scrolled to the end and I'm stuck here right now for the last, I think, hour. It's crazy, man. This is weird. Levi, right is right and wrong is wrong. That is his cousin. You know, at the end of the yeah. day, we all going to fight for our family. So that's why he's emotionally charged. But I'm going to say this. I'm not proud of this, but <laughs> I have oh seen God. the tape in the early millennium. That is Robert Sylvester Kelly, and I would give God my last breath if I'm lying. That's him. I seen it. Somebody show. Is it possible that the tape was altered? Is it possible? Now you know. Boo boo. And I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm just asking: Is it possible with the way that technology is today and the type of See, men that he was back then? No, is it no, possible? No, it was not. Not at all. There go the there go the supporters against Robert Sylvester Kelly. I just hear a oh no, there could be no type of you know, uh, conspiracy against this. It's all facts because everyone said it was. Even the liars who were under immunity that got, you know, blessings from the prosecution and the government to come on to tell the lies. Wow. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That was hold on. Hold on. I seen the tape in 2002. That's yep. before CGI. Yep. This tape was on Lime Wire. Yep. Yeah, I remember my wife. I'm saying something from a technical perspective. So these people were promoting child pornography 
and they were actually, it was on national TV network. That was wrong. That was wrong. That tape should have stayed in seal, under sealed documentation. Um, mm, I don't know. So quick. And I'm in we IT. Have facial, this, just this real quick. Let's, 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 let's hear from the table. Walk up to the camera. Let's hear from the table. Let, let the camera in the bamboo room. It was him. Okay. Let me, let me finish this real quick. We have facial recognition technology now that pinpoints facial features to identify a particular face. So they can take multiple pictures of I. Kelly, R. Kelly and, and decide whether or not this is him in a video within 99.9% .9 accuracy. So there's no way to get this. So that's all they got to do. They got to take the VC, the VHS that has the timestamp that if he's on it and then just run it on face recognition. I mean, you could do that with a car. You can open up a lock, a key to your, your car with your face. So come on, this is not rocket science, people. And I'm just doing this because, you know, I want to present something for Sunday. This one, not only that, they have hundreds of videos with him with minors. So this is not no question. This is not a question of what- Hundreds of videos. Now, where are those hundreds of them at? Is that, is that truth? Or is that an exaggeration of people who do not support Robert Sylvester Kelly? Is that what's, that's what's going on in the world of those who do not support Robert Sylvester Kelly? So is this transcript reading the one to to just allow facts to come forth to those who are listening? Or is this a ploy to just basically say, aha, I'm reading this just so we can find out what we need to know so that we can judge him. That's what this sounds like to me. And it's only my opinion. It's only my opinion and my supporter's opinion. That's all. Whether he was in that video, because they pulled out a different video just for the sake of not charting him or not running into double jeopardy. So the original tape that we were talking about with the original girl, they don't, they're not even talking about that tape no more. They don't they have the about, original video. Oh. They out dozens of so they don't have the original video. So we cannot know if that was the same tape as of 2008. And there's no face. Wow. There's no facial recognition that can 100% put him in this category, not saying that he hasn't been on tapes. I don't know. I've never seen any of them. None of them. I'm just an innocent bystander sitting back here observing what is going on from the court side to the public opinion side. That's all we do in Kelly Nation. So don't get too deep into this. We do not have to get in too deep. It's just something we need to know of what's being said out here in, in, in YouTube, as they say, the streets of other tapes with the same girl and identified that that's her based on her clothing, her jewelry, her face, and also R. Kelly and his house. Who else the had the same necklace as that girl? And they have facial... <laughs> you know, there was a girl when I went to church and she wanted a dress. I had an Easter dress. I'll never forget it. And it had these pleats and a big sash on the left side of it. And I bought it from Fashion Bug. And my mom was like, she always liked to get, you know, around the Easter and Christmas and all the other holidays, she liked to get the unclearanced items because every other time we get clearanced items, markdown prices. So we went to Fashion Bug. I got this outfit. I told this girl where I got it from the very next Sunday. Guess who, who walked up into the church with the same dress, the same turquoise pleated dress with the big sash? my friend from Sunday school. So people make duplicates of everything. And when they make one necklace, they didn't make the they didn't make the only one unless you get it special and uniquely made. I don't know, she might have had that opportunity to do so. We got 10 more minutes of this, I think. Technology that can identify everybody in a video these days 
So it, it, there is no who. No, the technology that exists today is only enhanced by what, 10, 20? This technology been existing. No, ma'am. This is my field. <laughs> yes, it is. No, ma'am. This is my field. They can en enhance a video from 20 years ago, pull up an entire crowd, and identify the majority of people in the crowd if they have other pictures of those people. So why not just do that, people? I mean, I'm sure that if prosecution or government is listening to all of this stuff live, I'm sure they can pull up to say, hmm, maybe we should do that. Within 99.9% .9 accuracy. This is not a question. This is fact. This is technology. They take the points of your facial features. It's a five point uh, feature um, diagram that they take of your face to pinpoint the features of your face and where they're placed, how you smile, your your uh, mannerisms and everything, and they can identify you. And is that 100%? It's not 99. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay. Enough. Even a father's sperm count is not 100%. It's always 99.99. .99. It's never 100%. Oh, people. I understand what you're saying. Somebody, daddy, that's enough to prove that somebody is somebody in a damn picture. Period. No, I, understand what, I understand what you're saying, but let me, get, let me ask you this. When you go to a grocery store and you go to self-checkout and they must stop you and want to call over a attendant, that's the same shit. Apples to oranges. Here you go again. This is what R. Kelly uh, supporters do. They compare apples. Absolutely not. I'm not comparing anything. And I am a Kelly supporter. But what I'm but what she's saying there is the same thing. If you say voice recognition or not voice, face recognition, why can't it be done and duplicated under this new, you know, um, this new technology to go back there and find out if that was him on the tape because they don't really want to go through all that because that's more funding that's more tax dollars and that is more opportunity to be less accredited to make sure that you know maybe that maybe they don't want him to get off right now um and so kelly supporters don't have anything to do with the facts of the situation it is just that. But let's see what she had to say about Kelly supporters. Apples to oranges, and I'm not with that, sis. I don't do that. Okay, I'm with facts and science, period. You can't have 100 and videos of the 100%. Well, first of all, why did he have the 100 videos if it's, if it's not him in the video? If he not in none of them, why he got okay. thousands of videos? Do of we videos? know for? I don't, I don't believe he had a hundred videos. I'm not sure. I know they would have already. I don't know. I don't know all this hoopla of, you know, who who lived in the house and who took the tapes and threw them in the ocean and. <laughs> God, we as a culture can make up some stories now. Whoo, this is a lot. That's why I hate that. I really hate that Levi dropped down, but that's another story. I just really want to talk about what's really going on. Do we really know that R. Kelly had 100 videos? How do we know that? Thousands of videos and hundreds of oh, like thousands. The How do we know? A thousand? I'm sure they would not have to keep going through all this. They can throw some of those new tapes in there and say, hey, this is it. This is it. This is another young girl. This is another young girl. Here go another one. Then Lisa's story would make sense. Keith Murrow's story would make sense. Kelly had that. Oh, Lord. He had a right to He's doing 30 years. Other than that, he would, he would not have been in the tapes if the government had not convicted him in the federal trial. Wow. You, I, I wish that I knew more about the criminal justice system to understand what they're saying. I really and truly do, because I know this system that judged him, judged him very unfairly in the federal Brooklyn, because that's why he's going to, to appeal. So maybe I'm not getting something. Kelly, uh, Kelly Nation supporters on R. Kelly Appeal TV, could you please help me out here if you're still with me? Just talking about 
I just came up here to say something. Real quick, you need to go back on some of the old, the old shows that we were proving that we had on her table. I just want to have a civil conversation and just get into the bottom of it. How do we know? You go to one of we read the transcripts down trial. The transcripts were read at the trial and, you know, the prosecution read their transcripts as well as the defense read theirs. And it's just like a tennis match. The game is not over. So we don't know if the information that's on the transcripts is 100 percent correct until all of the all of the testimony is submitted out. So I, but we're almost done. I think we got about five more minutes. And again, you know, I'm just doing a critique like I always do. Here we go. Can I say something real quick? Go ahead. Okay, um, how do y'all think they identified all those people in different states all across the United States right. that stormed the Capitol? Exactly. So oh, right. Exactly. Like we, we can't be stupid, and you do know that they they reviewed those tapes and examined those tapes. John Boho um, hired somebody to look into those tapes before the trial started. So I don't know why y'all keep talking about maybe the tapes was altered. No, they was not. That is yeah. him. No, none of his, none of the attorneys on on in there is denying that that is R. Kelly. Nobody has denied that. Okay, so there is no dispute about that, um, but the trial is still moving forward. So there is something that is being found out. There's something. Now they're actually admitting that it's him. So I don't even know why the question still comes up, could the, the tapes be altered? That's so irritating. Okay, so let's get on that. That's, 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 it. that's it, she just said it. She's irritated because everyone still believes. And if everybody would just be unanimous or uh, um, on one accord, um, this thing would be over and then it would be done and we can move on with our lives. But now we got to wait another three weeks because he has these supporters. Wow. Oh, I came up here to say, I was just piggybacking off of um, whoever made that statement about the technology. Okay. They can't pick up your face and identify who you are. That's okay, right. let's get out the fact that, okay, oh, let's say, yeah, 100%. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really, I, how do we know that's 100% an underage girl? Let's go. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, how do we know that there that is 100% an underage girl? And here comes the, here comes the naysayers. Listen to what he got to say. I got a the question. I got a question. Exactly the same. Go ahead, CJ. Go ahead, CJ. So, guys, I mean, I've only, this is my first time being involved in like the YouTube banter on the back end. I usually only come here and like, Read the transcripts and go. Yeah, CJ, this, this I, might not. This might. I should yeah. probably just hope to get off a little early. This is. Yeah. This is what we, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know it was all this deep, and I mean, I think all of us that are usually come here and read the transcript, we should all be secure enough in what we know, and there's no need to like sit here trying to convince or ask questions that we know to be true. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't matter no, it, it's, what it's they not, say, it's not, really. It's, it's not that, CJ. We just have sometimes you have trolls come in here. Well, Atmos, I hope you don't think we are a troll. We are just more or less um, giving our point of view because, you know, Levi for Kelly obviously is for Robert Sylvester Kelly, and he continued to get um, cut off in every comment, in every situation, in every sentence that he had to say. Um, about Robert. So I'm doing my part for just our Kelly Appeal TV, just something for my few little couple hundreds of, uh, you know, my, my few little subscribers that, you know, uh, visit me daily. We're not going to try to come on and sabotage anything or troll or narcissist anything. This is just us doing what we do. Okay. So I hope you are okay with it. Yeah, and I'm, and thing, and like, I'm like, don't come in here so much, just with all that doggone nonsense. Why? Why? I'm too sure like, like, no like, for the facts. 
and trying to be all uh, polite and speak articulately. And just because you speak slowly and you have, you're you good with words doesn't mean that you're not creating word salad. He didn't say one fact. To support yeah. his opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think we all I think we all understand that. I just don't feel like and that's what was pissing me off. And he and he does that just like he admitted. He does that intentionally. Because yeah. that's what a predator does. They do right. that intentionally okay. try to manipulate. Well, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's what he was doing as a predator. I'm not gonna judge him on that note, but I will say that everybody deserves to be heard. And again, if you're not heard, get off the channel and go create your own podcast. You know, there's creative commons everywhere that can be, you know, worked out, especially on YouTube. Manipulate people. You can right. manipulate me. You can't insult my intelligence and don't call me ignorant for that. Yeah. Because yeah, no, I don't, because you know, I'm right. not falling for your bull crap. Now, one thing I never would have kept hold of is the constant um, being, you know, still holding on to the fact that he called anyone ignorant. He said the conversation itself, you know, um, was ignorance. It was ignorance. It was like people weren't understanding what was being said. So it was a waste of his time. Basically, that's what he was saying. Truthfully, he never called any specific person ignorant. Um, you know, I forgot how he said it, but you know, yeah, but I, I understood him totally. And, I'm with you, Rila. I just, you, you I don't understand why we're going back and forth though, because, because I mean, well, well, because that's what it is, it's a banter and that's what makes it interesting. Everybody has opposing views and the banter is what makes it interesting. If we all agreed and we didn't argue about anything, we wouldn't be here. And, I, yeah, came I, back, yeah. I came back. I came back. And I think that's what it is. I think it's all about attention. I think it's about, you know, um, traffic in action. And I get that. That's why I'm not, you know, knocking anybody for what they do. I was just asked to give a commentary on this video. I came back here to speak to Atmos and Atmos only. And I'd appreciate if I would be allowed to speak to oh, Atmos and Atmos only. Okay. So the guy Levi is back. This is for this, this is Atmos. Is what? Can I speak with you, I with you, can I speak with you on this public forum, brother? Yeah, I'm talking ahead, to Okay, just me and you, brother. I don't like that. Well, you don't like the brother. You don't like anything civilized. That's fine. I'm speaking to Atmos, not you. I don't like civilized. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Atmos, am I? No, if I was Atlas, I would definitely mute everybody and give him the respect that he's needed but i get it i mean that podcast is um i guess close-knit so he doesn't want to offend anyone specifically may, may, may i may i speak to you brother civilized when you're telling the f off oh but yet everyone could cuss him out <laughs> But when he tries to, you know, support himself, <laughs> now he's looked at as the enemy. Oh, God, where's your intelligence now? Wow. This is how they did Rob, man. This is exactly how they did him. Wow. God bless you, Robert. Mm -mm -mm. God bless you. Okay, now. Ain't civilized, so you're not well, civilized. Uh, no, 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 no. Atlas, I'm speaking to you. I need Let's to hear him out. Let's hear I him want out. To, listen, I don't, I don't care about you hearing me out. This is Atmos Channel. I want to speak to him. And I'd like to hear you as well. I'm here also. and I'd Thank like to you. Hear okay, you well, I'm speaking with Atmos. Let me say this. The reason why I came back on here, because what just was displayed was displayed publicly. So I want to do it publicly. I want to say to you, Brother Atmos, that I have always respected you on my channel, and I've never allowed anyone to disrespect you on my channel that's a fact now the problem that youtube presents is people want to play to their base so when it comes to levi for kelly and, and you're on levi for kelly i don't play to my base i'm gonna make sure people respect you 
I don't allow me to speak, and then I'll be quiet and listen to this is between me and Atmos. And if this wasn't done publicly, I would have I would have uh, had Dana or somebody to call Larry to call him privately. But this was done publicly. I got. I got it. Ma'am, okay. No, this blade. There we go again. <laughs> he can't get nothing out. He came back. I wouldn't have came back. I would have just went on my channel and said what I had to say and it been done. I got can I finish? No, can no, I please, no, can no, I please no, finish? No, I can't have a conversation with Abby. I can't have a conversation with Abby. No, no, no. Why are you afraid of what I'm about to say? Why are you afraid of what I'm about to say? Calmly, I'm speaking to Abby. I'm speaking to Abby. I'm speaking to Abby. Now my anxiety level is back up to 12. All of the hoopla, there is nothing making sense right now. It's just like a bunch of crazy people in the house. Listen. This is Nobody the Admiral's channel. I'm speaking to the Admiral's. No Why are you afraid of what I'm about to say? Why don't you? Nobody. Listen, I... If anything, if this was my channel, I would give one person five minutes to talk, get it out the way, whatever they got to say, get the next person five minutes to talk, get it out the way, because basically we're, I guess they are entertaining their audience. I guess that's what this is. Okay, I get it. I'm speaking to Atmos. I'm speaking to Atmos. I'm speaking to Atmos. And what you're trying to say is that you... No, allow me to finish. Allow me to say what I'm saying. Listen. Atmos allow people to disrespect you, and that's not true. Okay, so if it's not true, if it's not true, you should let me speak. You can refute it. You are insinuating. Let me... I'm saying it. I'm not insinuating anything. And allow me to speak with Atmos. Now, Atmos has when, when wow when Atmos comes on my channel, he's in the midst of opposers. Anytime yeah. I come over to Team uh, uh, Oko, I know I'm in the midst of opposers. However, I've never allowed anyone to respect Brother Atmos on my channel. Now, one thing about this whole YouTube thing is that I think he meant disrespect, but we get it. Everything that we just discussed was recorded. And I'm saying to you, Brother Atmos, in your leisure, go back and revisit this video. I came on, I spoke to you respectfully, I spoke to your guests respectfully, and as I always do, I'm answering questions legally. I'm, ask, I'm answering questions in the most articulate, civil way possible. Now, if you go back to the timestamp, as I was speaking, the brother from Chicago said these words. I was not, I'm just speaking how I speak. He says, I can see through your bullsh your bullshit and your words are falling on deaf ears. I responded mm. to him by saying, no, my words are falling on ignorant ears. Now listen to me. Everyone in this chat and everyone on this channel, we are all ignorant to something. Ignorance, we are ignorant when it comes to astrology or, 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 or science. We all are ignorant. But the problem I'm speaking with 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 I'm not talking so basically, it's still just a continuance of all of that. So I just want, you know, if you want to hear more about it, I'm totally done. I've given what I've what what I've been asked to give on this channel. Um, and if this does become a serious situation for me, I'm just going to make it a private link and submit it out to individuals on Kelly Nation who would need to want to view it or hear it. So I don't know what to say. This whole case is so emotionally driven. Everyone's right. And this is a hood case. This is a case from the hood. So we're going to have those, those times. But I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. Well, maybe don't share this one. <laughs> We don't want no beef, okay? Because I don't deal with it. I don't do it, you know. So, so, but I thank everyone for giving their comments and feedback to this, as well as, you know, even on my feedback. 
I like to hear what Kelly Nation supporters have to say because everyone else should not, no one else should really be on here. Um, and I don't know if people are taking my clips and showing and, and breaking and deciphering, but I mean, hey, it's, it's creative commons. We're allowed to do whatever we are allowed to do that is not under copyright infringement. So yeah, I just wanted to put this out. I'm not going to waste any more time. Thank you so much. And as always, keep it 100 and we'll see you next time.